Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. Ticks, such as the Lone Star Tick, the American Dog Tick, and the Deer Tick can be a serious concern for people and pets. They carry diseases like the dreaded Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. You can drastically reduce your exposure to ticks by following a few common sense practices. Ticks prefer tall grass, wooded areas, and brush. They're also common in areas with lots of deer and rodents. If you're going to be working in the brush or hiking in the woods, make sure you have long pants and long sleeves. And wear a shirt with a light color. It's easy to spot the ticks on light colors. It doesn't look stylish, but tuck your pants into your socks to keep ticks from crawling up your pant legs. And don't forget your four-legged friends either. Dogs are very susceptible to Lyme disease from ticks. LiquidNet makes formulas for use on pets so you can discourage ticks from taking a bite out of your buddy. Whenever you come back from a tick zone, check yourself carefully and check your pet. Make sure and check your pet's head, ears, and neck. That's where the ticks seem to really find a good place to bury themselves. If a tick manages to attach, tick spoons like these remove the ticks easily and safely. You can also take steps to reduce the tick habitat in your yard. Create borders of short grass and hardscape elements in between the area around your house and the tick habitat areas. These borders are unfavorable tick habitats, which ticks will rarely cross on their own. Mow tall grasses to reduce tick habitat and fire danger. You can also apply a perimeter barrier, like mosquito barrier or yard net. These are natural products that are labeled to repel ticks as well as mosquitoes. Pay special attention to ornamental areas with lots of moisture and leaf litter. These can be good habitats for ticks. Rake up leaves and keep ornamentals well pruned to reduce humidity and a convenient place for ticks to wait for a host to happen by. Be aggressive with rodent control. Mice are the number one source of ticks with disease-causing pathogens. Ticks do not hatch infected with diseases. They only become infected when they feed on a host that is a reservoir for the disease. Control the disease reservoir and you dramatically lessen the number of infected ticks in your yard. Check out our video on how to get rid of mice for effective strategies for controlling rodents in your yard. While ticks are most often infected by feeding on mice, they're most often brought into your yard by the deer. Check out our video on deer control and deer resistant plants to learn some strategies for reducing or eliminating deer traffic through your yard. Take the smart steps to protect you and your loved ones from ticks and grow organic for life. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, share this video, and follow us at the sites below. Don't forget to like this video.